In this presentation, we will see one question related to pointers. So let's get started. What is the value printed by the following C program? Here is a C program available in front of us. We need to determine the output of this program. Is it A, minus 9? Is it B, 5? Is it C, 15? Or is it D, 19? This question has been asked in gate 2010 for two marks. Again, I would encourage you to pause the video for a while and try to answer this question on your own. I hope you're done. Okay, let's move on to the solution. Here we know that the execution starts from the main function always. Therefore, we will evaluate this function first. Within this function, we can see we have an array A which contains six elements that is 12, 7, 13, 4, 11, 6. And after this statement, we are calling the printf function and within this function, we are calling another function. So whatever will be the output returned by this function will be the output of this program, right? So we are calling the function f and we are passing the address of the first element of this array because name of the array indicates the address of the first element of the array. And also we are passing the value 6. This address will be passed to this pointer a and this value 6 will be passed to this variable n. Please don't confuse this pointer a with this array name a. They both are different, okay? This pointer is local to this function while this array is local to this main function. They are totally different. We can also write f of a6 as f of ampersand of a0, comma 6. That is what we mean. We are passing the address of the first element of the array as well as value 6. So this is our caller, right? And this is callee. Let's evaluate this function now. Within this function, we will first check this condition. Is n less than 0? We know that n is not less than 0 because n contains value 6 and 6 is not less than 0. Therefore, this statement will not get evaluated. Hence, we will land at this point. Let's check this condition. Is star a mod 2 equals to 0? Which means that the content stored in this location pointed by the pointer a, is it an even number? That is what this statement means. After dividing by 2, do we get the remainder 0? If we get the remainder 0, then we will evaluate this statement. Otherwise, we will evaluate this statement. Okay? So if a number is even, then the statement will be star a plus f of a plus 1 comma n minus 1. If the number is odd, then it will be star a minus f of a plus 1 comma n minus 1. Here in this case, we know that a pointer points to the first element of this array a, which contains value 12 and 12 is an even number. Therefore, we will return star a plus f of a plus 1 comma n minus 1, which is equivalent to 12 plus f of ampersand of a1 comma 5 ampersand of a1 because a plus 1 gives the address of the second element of this array and n minus 1 is 6 minus 1 which is 5 and star a gives the value 12 we will return the value provided by the statement back to the caller but think about it we didn't have the value over here yet we don't know the output of this function yet therefore we first have to call this function and whatever will be the output, we will add it to the value 12. And finally, we will return the result back to this function. That is the caller, right? So let's evaluate this function first. We are passing the address of a1, that is the address of the second element to this pointer a. And we are also passing this value 5 to this variable n. So let's evaluate this function with new address and new value of n. We note that n contains value 5. This statement will not get evaluated. We will check this condition. This condition is also not satisfied because a1 is the second element of this array a and it is 7. And 7 mod 2 is not equals to 0. Therefore, this condition is not satisfied. Therefore, we will return the statement star a minus f of a plus 1 comma n minus 1. Which means that we will get to this point that is 7 minus f of ampersand of a2 comma 4. If you observe it carefully, we are getting some kind of pattern. If we have an even number, then the sign will be plus. If we have an odd number, then this sign will be minus. Every time we are incrementing this value, previously we have 0 over here. We incremented it to 1, right? And every time we are also decrementing this value. Previously we have this value 6, now we have 5. And this time we are having 4, right? So the pattern is clear to us. There is no need to evaluate this function again and again. Next time, we will know we have to return this statement. That is 13 minus f of ampersand of a3 comma 3. 
because this value is 13. We know that it's an odd number. Therefore, the sign will be minus and this value has to be increased every time. Therefore, 2 becomes 3 and this value has to be decremented every time. Therefore, this becomes 3. But note down that you have to stop at that point when it becomes 0. Okay? We know that we again have to call this function with the new address that is the address of the fourth element. And fourth element is this element which is 4. We know this is an even number. Therefore, the next statement will be 4 plus f of ampersand of a4 comma 2. And after that we will have this statement 11 minus f of ampersand of a5 comma 1. Because a4 means the fifth element of the array. And fifth element is this element that is 11. And 11 is an odd number that is why I am writing this statement. 11 minus f of ampersand of a5 comma 1. This time we are passing the address of the last element of the array. And last element contains value 6 which is an even number. Therefore, we know the next statement. It is 6 plus f of ampersand of a6 comma 0. Now here the stopping criteria is reached. We get the value of n0. So as we are calling this function with value of n equals to 0, this condition will get satisfied. Therefore, this time we will return value 0 back to the caller which is this function. Right? So this will get replaced by value 0. Now the return procedure starts. 6 plus 0 will give us value 6 and it will get returned back to this caller that is f of ampersand of a5 comma 1. So this function will get replaced by value 6 and 11 minus 6 is 5. Therefore this will get returned back to the caller and this function will get replaced by value 5 and 5 plus 4 is 9. Therefore 9 will get returned back to the function f that is this caller function. So it will get replaced by 9. And 13 minus 9 is 4. Therefore 4 will get returned back to this caller and it will get replaced by 4 and 7 minus 4 is 3. Therefore 3 will get returned back to this caller. 12 plus 3 is 15. Finally this value will get returned back to this caller that is f of ampersand of a0 comma 6. So it will get replaced by 15. So the final value obtained from this whole procedure is 15 which will get printed on the screen. Hence the output of this program is 15 and hence the option C is the correct option.